Hello Scorpios, this is you versus them for October 31st through November 8th. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please go to the website and select your reading. Alright guys, how is Scorpio viewing this relationship in the past? How does Scorpio view this relationship in the past? Let's see. Ooh, Five of Cups. A lot of regrets. I don't know if you regretted the relationship or whether you regretted some of your actions in the relationship, but I felt like there were lots of um, times where you felt like you should have taken a stand on something or you should have, should have taken a chance on something um, instead of just letting somebody think whatever they wanted to think. Here. <clears throat> what was this other person's feelings about the connection with Scorpio? Oh, okay. Lots of stuff. Look at that. Your card too. This person felt like you were their soulmate. They felt like you guys belong together. But this was like the relationship of all times here with you guys. They definitely still have you on their mind as well, which is a good thing if you are thinking about getting back with this person. What's currently happening for Scorpios? This one is just standing out to me. King of Cups, full of emotion. I feel like you guys are emotionally mature. Um, I do feel that you are in your feelings right now about this person. Um, I don't know why, but I'm feeling like some of you are wanting another chance, another opportunity to make things right. I feel like you also would like this person to initiate something with you. Hmm. All water here right now. Very emotional reading. What's currently happening for the other person? What's currently happening for the other person? The hermit. Looking for you. <laughs> Looking for you. Is that upside down? Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. In reverse, which is, guess what? The Hermit. We're going back. We're going back and looking at uh, situations and trying to figure some shit out. That's what we're doing. That is what this person is doing. They're trying to figure some shit out. And I, and I feel like they're really trying to decide if what they feel or what they think about you is legit like are you the one they're trying to figure out if you truly are the one thinking about not only the good things but the bad things as well and that's a good way to look at things because if you if you're strictly looking at something from you know out of uh, rose colored glasses, rose colored lenses, then you're only looking at the good things when there were also bad things that happened as well. So this person's weighing. Like, were there more good things that occur between you guys versus bad things? They're really trying to figure this shit out. This Virgo energy here. What's influencing the situation with Scorpio? What's influencing the situation with Scorpio? What's influencing the situation with Scorpio? Okay. I don't know why there's two cards. Oh. Hmm. Some of you guys feel like this person does not care anymore that they've gone about their business. Um, and it's really bothering you. It's weighing on you here. Just to think of them, I feel, being with someone else is very bothersome. This Page of Cups and Nine of Swords energy. Gemini energy is here now. Hmm. Got a lot of water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You've got Gemini. You've got Virgo. It bothers you to think about this person being with someone else. 
I don't think they're with someone else though. I feel like this person is in a deep um, period of reflection. I feel like they're not going out much. So if you think they're going out and um, just having a grand old time, I don't see that being the case at all. Okay. What's influencing the situation with this person? Look at that. Seven of Wands. Hmm. This person wants to win. And not win like the Five of Swords energy win. I mean, they, they're fighting for what they believe in. They're fighting to have what they feel like they deserve. But they have to figure it out first. This person is basically studying everything about your relationship. Dissecting it. Dissecting themselves. They, they're trying to figure out, is this the real deal? They're trying to figure this shit out. Leo energy here. What's coming in for Scorpios? What's coming in for Scorpios? Coming in for Scorpio. Five of Pentacles here. You have two fives. I feel a tower moment coming on for you guys. Um, I feel this is like, of course, we have some regrets here. We have some rejection here. Um, we have some hurt feelings definitely going on. I feel that um, some of you guys, if you're with this person, you're leaving. Uh, because I, I do feel like a lot of you are really in your head and in your feelings and thinking that this person is doing something that they're probably not if you're with them. So I wouldn't just up and just leave because sometimes things can seem a certain way and they're in reality they're not. I do see this person just really kind of taking some time for themselves just to kind of evaluate things without any interference here. And they're standing by the fact that they need some time. Whether you're with them or not, this person needs some time, I feel. Okay? Taurus energy with the Five of Pentacles. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? Let me end with the other person. Why are these cups, these <laughs> page of cups in reverse? See, this is them. They're not interested in establishing any new connections at this point. They're trying to figure out what it is that they truly want. So if you feel like this person is like trying to establish new connections and they're withdrawing from you um, to engage with someone else, I don't feel that that's the case, okay? They may be withdrawing, but I feel like this person is trying to figure their shit out without any interference, okay? <clears throat> what is the outcome here for Scorpios? What is the outcome for Scorpios? Outcome. Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away. Somebody's walking away. Either somebody is walking away or somebody's coming back. If you're with this person, there is definitely somebody walking away here. If you're not with this person, there's somebody coming back. Because what they are doing currently is not suiting them. They've had enough of it. Okay, Piscean energy there. What's the outcome for the other person? The outcome for the other person. What is the outcome for the other person? Ten of Swords. Somebody's leaving in this situation because this person is feeling um, stabbed in the back. I don't know if you guys are actually moving on, leaving this person, not giving them the time or the space that they have asked for. Um, 
and it may be taking too long for you and, and you guys are leaving, but um, there's definitely a situation here where there's somebody, le there's somebody leaving here. Somebody leaving a home, somebody walking away. I don't feel like you guys are on the same page is, is what the deal is here. I'm, I'm feeling like somebody wants what they want when they want it and it's right now. And the other person saying, hey, just give me some time. Give me some space. And then the other person is like, no, this space means that you're probably filling somebody else with this space. In this space. And walking away. My energy's here. And... Um, I'm out. Talk to you soon.